looks messy. Hi, good evening, everyone. I apologize for the inconvenience for the people. How is everything? How are you? Good evening, good evening, everyone. How are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm doing well. How are you? It was okay. Ah, uh, you're okay? All right, all right. That's good. That's good to know. It's good to know. Let me see. Okay. I'm sorry for the inconvenience that, uh, that I was having with the... Well, it's actually not a technical problem. It was more like a, a Zoom reset the password in the, the accounts so all of us were having some uh, issues with the with the password and with the account but oh now that we have fixed it we're good we're good uh we started the class at uh, 10 past 8 so that means that we're gonna end the class at 10 past 10 plus the 10 minutes that we're gonna have with one person I'm going to be ending the session at 20 past 10. 10 past 10 for everybody. And the person that stays uh, for a couple of minutes, we're gonna end it at 20 past 10, all right? Yes, I only see eight people. Tell me guys, how, how is everything? How are you today? Today is uh, Tuesday, right? Tuesday. How are you, tell me? How, how is everything going? How is everything going? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. You're fine? Good, happy? Today, good and happy. <laughs> I think so. All right, good and happy. Good and Better happy. than yesterday. <laughs> With more motivation. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. Excellent. All right, all right. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. How is everybody else? How is everybody else? How is everybody else? How was your Tuesday? Your second day of the week? Hi, teacher. Hey, Amazon, how are you? Good, teacher. Pretty good. You know, how was your day? How was your day? Well, today my day was I uh, was very chill after well <laughs> after yesterday you know the big issue from network but today it was uh, everything was good can't complain. All right, all right. I'm glad to hear that that you're you're doing okay. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. So the the issue with the application was the the account or the, the password from the account. I, I apparently so I don't know I don't really know what happened uh I don't know to be honest because I have never had this problem with the password with the account and the password so when I open Zoom over here I usually open the open Zoom five minutes before eight and uh, when I opened it it just took me out of the account yes and I, when I put the password it wouldn't take. So uh, it was not only me, it was everybody, everybody. All the teachers were having the same problem. So I don't know if you have recently updated the, uh, the application. Yes, actually I did. I did that yesterday. I checked the, the updates. There were no updates available and uh, yep, yeah, no updates. No okay, updates that's, available. That's maybe, maybe weird, today, though. I'm not really sure. And I don't think so. Cause I checked yesterday. And there's usually there's usually an update on Mondays, on Mondays, not not during the week. Mm. Usually on Mondays. I don't think yeah, that's the cool. problem. Well, well, finally you, you you made it. Yeah, I made it. I made it on. I made it on. I'm here. Uh, ten minutes later. Yes, I know. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. The good thing is that we're here. 
and uh, we're about to begin with the class with the session. Yes. Okay. Right. Fabricio, how is everything, Fabricio? How are you today? Good evening, good evening, teacher, and everyone. Good evening. Well, my my day was was okay. Uh, All right. That was a normal day. All right. And how do you feel right now? Well, I feel okay. I um I feel uh, deseoso. You feel deseoso, como se dice. De aprender más, deseoso de aprender más. Wow. I never uh, I learned that word before. I know that wish is desear, pero deseoso de aprender más. <clears throat> I'm wishing uh, to learn I more. Say, I would say willing. Willing is the best word to say that. Okay. I am willing. I feel willing to, to, to learn more English a little okay. each day. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. That's how you should feel. Like, like with the with the uh, well, you should feel will to learn every day. Maybe not that much, just a little. And a little is fine, you know, to continue learning and uh, moving forward. Yes. Thank you for joining, Fabricio. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, teacher. Marilyn, how are you, Marilyn? How are you today? How's everything? I was fine. Fine? How was your day? Yeah. So, good. Difficult, easy, tedious, easy, boring. So, I was a little frustrated because and today um, I went to the hospital. You and, me. And, oh yes, you told me right. And, you told me yesterday. Yeah, but um, I don't have um, um, respuesta. An answer. I didn't. Ha I didn't have an answer, or I didn't yeah. get an answer. Yeah. Only so uh, feel... only they only they give they give the um a new. Um, a new date. A new date. Yeah, for the next year. For the next year. Yeah. But that will be not for the surgery, right? No. Oh wow. With the with the orthopedist, or what? I think that I um I waiting. All right. That's the difficult thing about, about the insurance company. You have to wait a lot. Well, a lot of yeah. days or a lot of months. You have to wait a lot. Five months, six, seven. Uh, let me tell you that I have an appointment, but I forgot the date already. I don't remember. I, I know it is this month. I do not know. I do not remember the day or the date exactly. I know it is this month in November, but I went to the hospital. Last time I went to the hospital was in July. July, and they gave me the, the appointment for this month, November. So just, just think about that. <laughs> and they gave me another appointment for uh, last month, but I didn't go. I couldn't go that day, so I missed it. And maybe I will go to this one. I'm not sure when it is, but I'm thinking about going. Yes. And I'm sorry that you went to the hospital for pretty much nothing. It's it's frustrating. I understand your frustration. I'm sorry that that you went through that. Yes. All right. Let me see. Uh, Magdil, how is everything, Magdil? How are you today? Hello, teacher. How is everything? How are you today? Everything was okay, teacher. I have a normal. I had a normal normal day, but um, and because 
I had to drive on the Charles Street. Yes. Um, over there, always are there. The traffic is heavy. Yeah, I. You always, always. told me that, right? <laughs> so you always told me that the traffic over there is really heavy, and it's just difficult to get out of there. Yeah. In a few days, uh, the government uh, start to to construction the, the project, new project. Mm. In a there. few days. Yeah. All right, I understand. Uh, okay. Thank you for for saying that. I see that Rafael is a listener right now. Uh, Elizabeth as well, and uh, Mario, and Carla Ivania, they are listeners. Let me know if you are available for participation. In that way, I will take you into account for future activities that we will have. All right. Thank you guys for being here today. And like I said, we will be finishing the session at 10 past 10. Yes. At 10 past 10 and uh, face to face or one to one. Uh, minutes is gonna be with uh until twenty past ten. Let me take attendance right now and uh let's get ready to start. Diego Josué Benitez Leiva, Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you, Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here, present. Hey, how are you, Eric? Sorry, I didn't see you there. How's everything? So far, so good. So far, At so good. What about today? How was it? It was a little busy, but it was a chill. All right, all right. That's good to know. That's good to know. Very good, very good. Okay, yes. Let me see, uh, Julissa Miguel Villalta, Villalta, no. Carla Ivania, Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria González Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Sí, Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you, thank you. Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. He's not here. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you. Raul Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. He's not here. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego is not here either. Because last uh, time we you... had. Yes. You didn't mention me. Oh, yes, I did. Nope. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I did not mention you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah, uh, Emerson Alexander, right? Lopez, Lopez. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I don't know why. I, I, don't, I don't know why. But you're here. I know you're here. Okay, we're going to start right now with everything. And uh, let me show you what we will be doing. Let's begin with this. Okay, very good. What? Look at this. I did not change, I changed everything. I, I made the presentation, created the presentation today. But for some reason, I forgot to change the date and the whole thing. Yes, my bad, my bad. 
Well, as you know, today is class number 11. We begin the third week or section, well, not the third week. We begin the third week today. Yes, we're three weeks to go, right? Three weeks away to go. And it's Tuesday, and it's a, a good day, a good day to start. Uh, yesterday, we were discussing or talking about some pitfalls that we, we get or that we go through when we buy things online. Yes? Five, it's just over here, five pitfall, pitfalls of online shopping. Yes. Yesterday, you mentioned a couple of them. Yes. Do you remember them? Can you mention them again? Can you mention the pitfalls that you mentioned yesterday? That the the item doesn't look like as the picture. Okay, the item doesn't look as the pictures shown on the website. All right, that's a good one. That's a very good, a common one. Yes, what else? What else? What more issues do we get? Teacher, I remember that I said yesterday about the payment issues. The payment issues. What do you mention about that? Or what do you say about that? I don't remember exactly, but something like uh, the problems or the, or, yeah, the issues um, at the time to to pay for the for the shopping online. Okay. At the time Something of paying. Like, exactly. Something like that. I don't remember exactly what I said. Yes, I don't remember either. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot really remember what you said. All right. What else can you mention? What else can you mention? The time you will wait for the for receive your product. Okay, the time you wait to get your item or your product. Okay, yeah. that is a good one too. And sometimes the high cost of shipping. Okay, and sometimes the high cost of shipping. Yeah. I think it is is it's more expensive when you order from different places. For example, when you order from Asia, from Europe, or from uh, the U.S., Canada, or those countries over there, it is more. Yes, expensive. yes, a big product, for example. Yes, exactly. You <laughs> for are the right. weight. Exactly. Yes, the weight and everything. Yes, you are right. Over here in Salvador, there are some companies that take advantage of you and they charge you like ten dollars, but you you should not like uh, let that happen. Yes, you should not let that happen. That's too much money. Not even companies from the U.S. or from other countries around the world are charging that much money, and and they want to charge you ten dollars over here in Salvador. That's not possible. Yes, that's not possible. What else can you mention? What else? What else? There are many, many issues that we get we, we, when we do online shopping. There are many things that we, we go through, many problems we go through, or many things that we face or we ran into when we do online shopping. Well, it seems it's actually four, not five. I'm not really sure why it says five over there, but it's four. Four that are very common. All right. We're going to do some reading right now about some common pitfalls of online shopping. There are some paragraphs that we're going to read, and there is vocabulary that we need to review or learn. And later on, we have to put that vocabulary into practice. So if you don't have a notebook next to you, get one right now, notepad or anything you can write on because we're going to learn some vocabulary right here with this, with this, uh, with this reading. We have, uh, I, I'm not sure how many, how many uh, paragraphs we have, 
but we have a couple of them, like four or five. I'm not really sure. And every paragraph must or must have three or four words that you guys might not know. So get your notebook or your notepad ready to write on because we, we're going to need it, yes. But let me get some water. Give me a second. I need, I'm, bring, uh, I'm thirsty. I don't have water right now. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Let's begin with the first one. I am going to read it. Listen carefully. I mean, listen to the pronunciation because after me, it will be your, your turn to practice. So let's begin with this one. We got two paragraphs over here. Yes. Again, if you have any questions with the vocabulary or about the vocabulary, get ready. Because uh, after I'm done reading, I'm going to ask you about that. Online shopping is convenient, quick, and embraced by most, by most every kind of connected consumer. While it is well known for the benefits, few are aware of the darkest side of purchasing from a virtual store. Get the facts behind shopping with the click of a mouse and use them to decide if your next purchase will be better made in person. Shopping from the comfort of your couch has major benefits and some unpleasant side effects. Shipping fees. With the cost of fuel being an, an ever increasing consideration, it may be easy to assume that having your purchase shipped to your door is both efficient and affordable. Pay close attention to that final shipping fee, however. Some stores charge the same price for all packages, making light or tiny bundles of bad boy. While others charge a separate fee for each item shipped, even worse, many retailers punish their most loyal shoppers by charging more for every dollar spent, making that expensive but dainty gift pricier than necessary. Pricier than necessary. Spit on this. All right. There you go. We got a cup. Well, we, we must have a couple of questions about the vocabulary right here. Let's begin. Uh, let me help you out with some words over here that you might not know what they mean. The first word that I think you guys find or might, might find new is this one. We got uh, tiny bundles. What's a bundle? Making light and tiny bundles a bad boy. A bad boy, you know what it is, bad boy. But bundle, what's a bundle? Do you have an idea, people? No, teacher. No? No, no, no. How can I tell you this? Have you seen the speed bumps? Like a bump? What is that? Speed bump is the thing that uh, there is in the streets, right? Yes, that makes, that makes you stop your car and you go over it. Yes. Well, yeah. the, the word bundle has a similar definition. It's referring to something like this. I don't know how to tell you this. Is me. Like, I don't know how to say this. Uh, let me help you out in the in the in the in the chat. Check it out. It's over there, <laughs> right? That's what it is. That's what it is. That's a bundle. Do you see it? Do you see it there? Yes, teacher. All right, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right. And I think there's another word that you guys do not or might not know. And the word is, well, we got that one, right? Let me let me see if I can select it. We got that one, bundles. And I think you guys do not know what this one means. Dainty. 
or dainty? Dainty or dainty? You got two options there. You can say dainty or you can omit the T. You can say dainty, right? Yes. Do you know what this means or do you have any ideas? No, teacher. Delicate. Delicate. A synonym for the word dainty or dainty is delicate. Delicate. Yes, that's what it is. Let me help you out or, or kind of sophisticated. You can find the information in the chat. Something like that, yes. All right. Now, do you have any more questions about the vocabulary? I think those are the words that you really don't know what they mean. And uh, the rest of the vocabulary is kind of easy to understand. But if you guys have questions, let me know. I'm here. Yes, more questions? Unpleasant, teacher. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Unpleasant, this word, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the word in Spanish. Well, I know the word in Spanish, but I don't know how to explain it. It's when you don't don't feel comfortable with something or when you don't really like something. Yes. Uh, like, not disgusting. It's not disgusting, the word in Spanish. Uh, what can be the word in Spanish for unpleasant? Um, guys, do you have any ideas? Unpleasant, a word in Spanish? Yes, it's something that you, you don't feel comfortable with, that you don't like. Uh, I can't think of a word in Spanish right now. Desagradable? Yeah, that, that's the one, but yeah, like I said, disgusting, but disgusting is. Como desagradable, pero de, de asco. Yes. Uh, well, that's, that's what it is. That's unpleasant. Yes, that's unpleasant. Something you don't feel comfortable with or that you don't really like. Some unpleasant side effects. What does side effects mean? Do you know? Side effects. Side effects? Could be <clears throat> the um, when you do something mm -hmm. and you have to <clears throat> probably wait for a second. Um, how can I say? Side effects. <laughs> I mean, for example, you're 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 boxing. Always you want to to win, but. You have to expect a, a big punches. I mean, that's a side effect for boxing. Exactly. Yes. Yes. This is more, uh, well, you can see this when you take a, a pill or when you take medicine. Uh, sometimes this pill or this medicine will give you other problems. Yes. For example, you take a pill for your headache. This pill might give you some stomach problems. So that's the side effect. Or as Emerson was saying, like secondary. But we don't say secondary effects. We say side effects. So it's pretty, it's, it's pretty much the negative, the negative effect of something that we think is positive. Yes. That's what it is. All right. Very good. What else? More questions, people? Ask me. Teacher, coll collateral uh, could be a synonym of side effects. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. That can be a word for that, synonym for that. Yes, you are right. Do you have more questions about the vocabulary? Feel free to ask me. Or pronunciation. Uh, 
embraced. In the, the first line, quit and embraced. Do you mean the pronunciation or, or the definition? The, the definition. Embraced has a, the literal or, well, yeah, yeah, pretty much the literal definition is when you hug a person. Like hug, that's embraced, yes. If you mm. go to Google, you're going to find out that the word, the verb, the verb embrace means hug, yes. But in this context, it's not, it's not really, it's not literally like that. Yes, it's more like accept. Oh, yes. Okay. So, online shopping is convenient, quick, and accept, accepted. Accepted by most a, by most every kind of connected consumer. So in this case, this is not like hugging, right? It's more like accepted. Yes. So okay. Embrace can be hugged or it can be accept. And it has more definitions. It has more definitions, to be honest. It has more. All right. What else? We got uh, embraced. What else? Teacher, the word fees, shipping fees. Where is it? This one. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> shipping fees. That's right. You got it over here too. Yes. A fee is something you pay not monthly, not monthly. It can be monthly, but in these cases, it's not something that you pay monthly. The shipping fee is the money you pay for shipping. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Okay. Exactly, yes. Exactly, exactly. That's the shipping fee. What else? Oh, fee in Spanish? Let me help you out in the chat. What else? We're good? All right. I need a person to read the first paragraph, the online shopping, and I need another person co to continue reading the shipping fee paragraph. So who starts? Who begins? Okay, Magdiel, you're the first one. Go, Magdiel. Okay, teacher. Online shopping is convenience, quick and embrace. Embrace is okay, teacher, to pronounce? Embraced. Embraced by most every kind of connected consumer, while it is well known for the benefits. Few are aware of the dark, darker side of purchasing from a virtual store. Get the fact behind shopping with a click of a mouse and use them to decide if your next purchase will be better made in person. Shopping from the comfort of the, your coach has major benefits and some unpleasant side effects. Shipping right. fees. Okay. No, that's it, that's only that. It, that's it. Only okay. that one, only that one. Thank you, Monkey. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, all right. Okay, I need a second participant to continue reading the other parts or the second paragraph. Me, teacher. Thank you, Fabricio. Go ahead, read, please. Shipping fees. With the cost of fuel being an ever increasing consideration, it may be easy to assume that having your purchase uh, shipped to your door is both efficient and affordable. Yes. Pay close attention to that final shipping fee. However, some stores charge, charge the same price for all packages, making light or tiny bundles a bad buy. 
while others charge a separate fee for each item shipped. Even worse, many retailers punish their most loyal shoppers by charging uh, more for every dollar spent, making that expensive but dainty gift pricier, pricier than necessary. Pricier. Pricier, pricier, yes. Pricier, pricier, okay. The word over here is not price. The word here is pricey. Pricey. Can you make that bigger? 24 over here. And uh, comparative form is pricier. Comparative is pricey. All right, that's what it is. You know what pricey is? Okay. You know what it is, pricey? The value of something? Okay, the value of something, yes. Pretty much that's what it is. The value of something, yes. All right, let me erase that. Okay, we're going to continue. Thank you guys for participating. So, this for the first the first problem, well, it's pretty much the shipping fees. But in this one, we already know that that one is, is like not a problem. It's more like an obligation, something that we all have to pay. Let's take a look at the first the first issue that we usually get when shopping online. And the first issue is inaccurate, inaccurate sizing. Inaccurate sizing. Most women know their dress size, but are also aware that variations may occur. With the fickle nature of the US catalog catalog sizes, one brand may fit through to size while others can run small. Perhaps the best way to assure that your online purchase will be a perfect fit, fit is to research to the return policy to see if, return, if returns are free or can be done via your cluster brick and mortar location. If not, it may be wise to see about trying items one before you buy. If you must be a virtual shopper, check any comments or feedback left by others who have purchased similar items. They often share information about whether our whether a brand runs through to size. All right. We got over here the the first issue or the first problem that we have that we usually face when shopping online. All right. Now, let me ask you this. Do you have any uh, questions about the vocabulary? Fickle. Fickle, let me uh, select it right there. This word means inconsistent. Inconsistent. Yes, that's what it is. Inconsistent. With the inconsistent nature of the U.S. catalog sizes. Yes. That's what it is. More questions? Brick and mortar? Oh, yes. We, we've seen this one already. The brick and mortar. Location is a place, a physical store, <laughs> a store you can visit or a store you can buy things from. Yes, you go to the store and you buy things there. That's the brick and mortar store. Okay, thank you. Yes, it can be a it can be a brick and mortar company, brick and mortar store, or brick and mortar location, as you see it over here. What else? No, okay, that's okay, that's okay. I need I need a person to read, a participant to read. Me, teacher. 
All right, Emerson, thank you for that. Oh, wait, what's inaccurate or accurate? The word is accurate. The negative or the antonym is, is uh, inaccurate. It's like uh, when the example sizing, the size is not exactly. Exactly, you're right. Or precisely. Okay, okay, so <laughs> yes, yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, it, accurate. The word accurate means exact. The word inaccurate is the opposite, not exact. <laughs> All right. Yes. Very good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, inaccurate sizing. Most women know their dress size, but are also aware that variations can occur. With the fickle nature of US catalog sizes, one brand may fit true to size while others can run small. Perhaps the best way to assure that your online purchase will be, will be a perfect fit is to research the return policy to see if returns are free or can be done by your closest brick and mortar location. If not, it may be wise to see about trying items on before you buy. If you must be a virtual shopper, check any comments or feedback left by others who have purchased similar items. They often share information about whether a brand runs true to, to size. Okay, thank you for reading Emerson. Excellent, you did it very well. I saw some number here that caught my attention. What was it? I forgot. Okay, guys, what do you think about this problem? The inaccurate sizing problem. What do you think about this one? Do you think it's a common problem? Yes. Yes? For me, okay. yes. It is for you, all right. It's it horrible. <laughs> you feel horrible later on. Yes. Yeah. All right. How do you pronounce this, by the way? How do you pronounce it? Women? Uh -huh, there you go, there you go. Remember, when the word is singular, it is pronounced as woman, woman. When the word is plural, women. That's the difference. Woman, only one, or one, singular. And women is the plural form or the plural pronunciation. In the case of the word or men, it doesn't change. I mean, the pronunciation doesn't change. Men, one, men, two. It is the same, yes. In that case, you have to understand what the person or what the people are talking about. You have to understand the context. But in this one with women, you can uh, really understand that you if you're talking about one woman or two women. Okay, thank you for reading and thank you for participating. I think this is one, one common problem that most women, as it says over here, most women go through. Because men don't usually buy things, I mean, clothes online. And this is about sizing, like dresses, blouses, uh, shorts, jeans, skirts, you know? Like only only girls or women do this very often, yes. So they go through this problem, and I think it's a very common one, yes. Let's continue with the second problem that we usually go through. Misleading product descriptions. Misleading product descriptions. One of the benefits of shopping online is that it is a truly visual experience. If a product looks appealing on the computer or on your computer screen, it may, it may very well look super in real life. Unfortunately, the pictures and descriptions that accompany a product page can be confusing or even completely fraudulent. The more trusted the shopping site, the less risk you'll take or you'll have of ordering based on an ambiguous 
photo or deception, depiction, sorry, depiction. Stick to the sites you know. And if the image and narrative don't give, don't buy. For many, online banking has more a day-to-day -day routine. Still, there are some holdouts who refuse to accept the method. Over here, I think we got a couple of words that you guys might find difficult to understand. For example, a building, uh, a company, custom sites, let's read if you have word based, ambiguous, ambiguous maybe, I'm not sure, stick, fiction, uh, this one, Jim. Superb. It's the same as super. <laughs> look good, look nice, look amazing, super. It's the same. But let me let me let me select our market. Uh hold outs. There you go. All right. Let's begin with appealing. Do you know what appealing is? Or do you understand through the through the context what appealing is? The way it looks. Exactly. The way it looks. Or in other words, attractive. Appealing is a synonym for the word attractive. All right. Mm -hmm. Attractive. Yes. Now, let's see. Super is the same. It's the same as saying amazing, great, good looking, good, awesome. Very well look good, very well look amazing, very well look awesome. That is the same, super, all right? What about the word accompany? The word accompany, what is it? Hello, the word accompany? Any ideas? No, teacher. You don't know, no? That go no. with. No. Go with. The pictures and descriptions that go with. Go with a product. Yes, a company. It's very easy. The good chat over there, you, you can see the definition there. <laughs> very easy to understand, right? Very simple. Okay, now that we've seen that one, ambiguous. What is ambiguous? Do you know what this one is? Ambiguous photo. Something that is not totally clear, clear. Something that is not total. Totally clear. All right, something that is not totally clear. Exactly, exactly. Something that, that doesn't really give us what we want or what we want to know. We see something that is ambiguous. That means that you don't really understand that. All right, or you you don't get enough of what you're seeing, and then we got depiction. What is depiction, guys? Do you know this one? Depiction? No. Not it means sure. it means representation. Representation. You'll have a, you'll have water based on an ambiguous photo or representation. Depiction, representation. It's a synonym. All right. It's a synonym. Then we have stick. Stick to the sites you know. Stick has different definitions in this context. Is 
when you are uh, gluing, when you're gluing some. In this case is like glue yourself, glue yourself to the sites you know, or attach yourself to the sites you know. Yes. Like in a different context, we can say that stick is similar to saying stay in Spanish. Yes. Let me see stick. That will be in this context, okay, what I sent to the chat. Stay. Will be in this context or to this context. Then we have, uh, it says there, if the image and narrative don't give. What is narrative, guys? Or narrative, what is it? The words written. Okay, the words written or pretty much the description. A description of something. Or in these cases, in these cases, you see the image and the image looks very simple. I mean, what you see, what you see in the image looks very simple in comparison with the narrative. It means the description. It's giving you a lot of awesome things and like they don't give. So give, what is give? The word give over there, don't give. This word, you can get it by the context. You can understand what it means by the context. Don't, don't give. No? No. Okay, match. <laughs> they don't match. Uh, let me see, don't. Let me see, things don't match. Things don't do. It is the same. It is the same. Things that don't match or things that don't give, it's pretty much the same, all right? And the last word that we have here is this one. Still, still, there are some holdouts who refuse to accept the method. Holdouts refers to people, people that do not collaborate. So in Spanish, is. People that do not collaborate. That is holdouts. People that do not collaborate. Yes. Yes. All right. More questions? If there are no questions, I need a volunteer to read this one. Well, I have a question. Yes, ask me. Uh, I use match and what i say for example the account that you have doesn't match with the other account that you provide to me so i can say uh, the accounts don't give what no isn't that's not that's not the same oh that it's is not the same is it like like how can I tell you this? It depends on the context. It dep depends on the context. Because we, if you're talking about clothes, there are some clothes, some colors that don't match. But you cannot say they don't give. It's it's different thing. Yes. Yes. But okay, if you want to you. use them, maybe, maybe like that. Yes, maybe like that. The thing is that give is not really common. There's another word that is similar to this one that is not really common as well. Yes, but... If you want, you can use them. I'm not really sure about that, to be honest, because I have never used G. I I mean, I know the word. I might use it someday, but I prefer to use don't match. It's don't match is easier to, to Yes. To okay, use, yeah. thanks. Because if you say, if you if you talk to a person and tell them, hey, these things don't give, the person like, what is it? 
So they don't match. Ah, match. Okay, I understand it. Right. All right. Uh, I need a volunteer to read. Teacher, but I have another question uh, about okay. the, the same word because I have listened about the that word, Jeff. But what, sorry? <laughs> uh, Jeff. Mm -hmm. and, but in a song, uh, it is Dancing Queen of Ava. But I don't know if the same word because the context, for example, I heard uh, you can jive, but I don't know if it's the same. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea if the word, but I don't even know the group. <laughs> uh, okay, but well, uh, the song is uh, Dancing Queen, and it is the second line. I the I, second I line. Let me so. see if I can look it up right now. Give me a second. Okay. Second line. You said Dancing Queen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see, dancing quick. The group is uh, A, uh, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, B, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, let me see. You can dance, you can do having the time of your life. Oh, see, see the girl watching that scene. It says, oh, you can dance, you can do. I don't understand it in this context. Uh -huh. <laughs> me too but they the, pro the pronunciation of the song is jive i don't know it's the same with this word in mean, yes this context. yes you can pronounce it as well i say i say jive but you can say jive there are some oh, words okay. there are some words people listen to this there are some words that have two pronunciations oh, okay <laughs> and sometimes but it's the same might get sorry it's the same word for example in the same maybe not the same con context but it refers the same exactly exactly you are right oh, okay oh, okay thank you for example uh, there is a verb there is a verb this one mm -hmm. look at it you know what it is Mm -hmm. You know what it is? Yes. And the other one? Yes. Llorar en lágrima. Exactly, exactly, right? The word, no, no, no. The word tear, the word tear is destruir, triturar, romper. Oh. Yes. And over here, the other one is tear, right? You see the difference over uh -huh. there? Different pronunciation. The same happens with the word jive and jive. You can say jive. And I was I was doing some digging right now, and it says there, here, here that is some kind of dance. It says Teacher. by that is jive. This I don't, I don't Teacher. know. It Teacher. Is, yes. To help to resolve this uh, dilemma, I don't know how to say that word. Dilemma, uh, dilemma. Dilemma. Uh, look at at uh, worldreference.com, the page uh, that you suggested us, uh, yes. Jeeve, uh, one of the definitions says Jeeve was a popular style of dance in the yes. 1940s. In the 40s, in the 40s, exactly. In That's what 40s. I'm doing right now. Yes. Yes. So maybe the song refers to that type of dancing that existed a long time ago in the 40s. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. I, uh, and I was checking that this group is, is kind of classic. Yes. 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 Okay, thank right. you. Katya, read. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Misleading product descriptions. One of the benefits of shopping online is that it is a truly visual experience. If a product looks appealing on your computer screen, it may very well look superb in real life. Unfortunately, the pictures and descriptions that accompany a product page can be confusing or even completely fraudulent. The more trusted the shopping site, the less risks you have of ordering based based on ambiguous. I don't remember the pronunciations of ambiguous. Ambigu uh, ambiguous. 
Ambiguous. Ambiguous. Okay, thank you. Ambiguous. A photo of the picture. Stick to, to size, you know, and if the image uh, narrative don't give, don't buy. For many online banking has become a day-to-day -day routine. But still, there are some holdouts to who refuse to accept the method. All right, thank you for reading. What do you think about, about this problem, the misleading product descriptions? I think Emerson was talking about this one. He mentioned it before, that sometimes the picture or the images that you, you find or that you see on the website do not match when you get the product. What do you think about this one, people? Do you think it's a very common problem or issue when shopping online? What can you say? Yes, for me, it's common. And for example, the quality. If you buy a cloth, the description could be different to the, the product you, you will receive. Well, yes. Let me tell you, this happened, happened to me once a couple of years ago, three, four, four years ago. I'm not really sure. I ordered some uh, this this product from China. It was for my car, 2020, 21, 2020. Oh, four years ago, four or five years ago, I ordered ordered something from from China. It took three months to get here. Three months. Just think about that. Three months. Yes. And I looked at the pictures and the pictures were really awesome. I mean, I had some issues with my car and with this product, I was I was supposed to fix them. Like really, really fix the problems in my car. And when I when I got the products, it was something very simple. Very simple. And it was not really uh not really what I saw on the pictures. It was completely different. And it did not work the same way as shown in the pictures. And in the pictures, it was like really fantastic thing, you know? It was really good, really good, really awesome. Like it, it was a, a problem solving product. But when I got it, when I got it, it was like, wait, what, what is this? What is this thing? <laughs> what is this for? How do I use it? And I tried using it, but it did not work the same as, as shown in the pictures. So I ended up I ended up losing my money and wasting time. Yes. And uh, that was a bad experience, to be honest. It, so it happens. It happens. So in these cases, you have to take into consideration this. Stick to sites you know. Yes. Yes. And also, you have to be careful with the web pages or where you buy things from. Next, we got a third one. Uh, this one was mentioned uh, by Fabricio, the payment issues. Having an adequate credit line may seem like all the discerning shopper needs to finalize an online purchase. In some reg regrettable instances, however, customers have, have been met at the final stages of their purchase with slow loading pages, error messages, or no indication that their order went through, leaving them to wonder if their purchase was even made. Websites instruct shoppers to avoid hitting the payment button twice, since they could leave, this could leave the consumer with a duplicate order uh, and double the bill, be aware of how the payment page works before you hit submit. And if a retailer won't allow a final review of your order before you buy, it may, it may be best to walk away. Wow, good one, good one. Questions about the vocabulary over here. There are some words that you, we might not really understand. Yes. Tell me. Regrettable. Regrettable. Yes. 
Yes. yes. How can I say regret? What is regret, people? The verb regret. What's the word regrettable in Spanish? Guys, what's regret? It's a verb. It's a verb. Regret. No. Uh, like, like when when I uh, I don't know how to say it, but when when I when I think the 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 thing that I I did two times, I don't know how to say that. Oh yes, it's it's I when saw... you do when you do an action or when you do something and then you're like, oh no, yes, why yes, did yes. I do this? And yes, you regret, no. you regret what doing that. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the word? It's a uh, arrepentirse. Yes, but in these cases, in these cases, it will be like in some undesirable, like indeseable, un. Uh, undesirable. Gordisha, you can find the word over there. In some desirable, undesirable instances, or unfortunate. Or unfortunate in some unfortunate instances. Instances can be situations, it can be moments. In some undesirable moments, right? So regrettable is something that we uh, no longer want. We did we did the things, but now we don't want the things we regret. That's regrettable, undesirable. Well, in the Seattle, right? That's what it is. More questions about it, about the vocabulary? <clears throat> More questions? No, teacher. No, we're good. Okay, that's fine. This is duplicate. Cat. Duplicate. Yes. The verb, the verb is duplicate. Duplicate. The verb. Over here is not a verb. It's like a copy. A copy of something. It's a duplicate. Duplicate is the action. Duplicate is the, the, the noun. All right. Let's see. I need a person to read number three, payment issues. Who can read this one? Anyone? Let me try, teacher. Okay, Mauricio, thank you. Go ahead. Number three, payment issues. Having an adequate credit line may seem like uh, all the discerning shopper needs to fina finalize. Finalize. Finalize an, an online purchase in some in some regrettable instances however customers have been met at the final stages of their purchase with a slow loading pages there were messages or no indication that their order went through leaving them or to wonder if their purchase was even made many websites instruct shoppers to avoid hitting the payment button twice. Since this could leave, uh, since this could leave the consumers with a duplicate, 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 yes. duplicate order and double, double the bill. Be aware of how the payment page works before you hit submit. And if a retailer wants to allow a final review of your order before you buy, it may be the best. If it may be best to walk away. All right, all right, thank you for reading. All right, sometimes we get some payment issues and uh, we are getting some advice over here about, about how to avoid not paying more money or extra money or double the money. All right, let's see, let me just continue with the other one. Poor packaging, poor packaging. 
Some sites are known for their for their excellence in packaging. Amazon, for example, has even been criticized for its overzealo silos and reportedly wasteful packaging, using more bubble wrap inner boxes and packing tape for its packages than many of its competitors. On the other side of the spectrum reside retailers who skim this category, leaving a wake of frustrated shoppers who open their online purchase to find broken and damaged items. Even those who have a good track record of making sure their shipments are secure can escape their ca the casualties that can be caused by a careless order, order fulfillment employee or the hasty delivery uh, driver. The only way to be absolutely certain that your purses will be will get to you safe and sound uh, and sound is to pick it up from the store yourself. So the per packaging is a challenge, right? Let's see what's up with this one. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary over here? Teacher, I understand what it uh, means over silos, uh, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know exactly the over the translation, <laughs> not the, 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 the translation, the, the meaning. Overzealous. Yes. How can I tell you this? Overreact, no, no, no. Overdoing. Overdoing. You know what overdoing is? Overdoing? I understand the the, the, the uh, context. The, the context, uh, like overacting. Some people exactly, overacting like, oh, oh, in, a in a situation. Yes, exactly. Like exa exaggerating, that's the word. Yes. Yes, for it, this is it. Is this there? Amazon has been criticized for its exaggerating. That's the word. Exaggerating. Oh, Overzealous okay, okay. Over is exaggerating. Yes. All right. What else? What else? What is report reportedly? Reportedly, we got it over there in parentheses. And reportedly wasteful. Hello. It's it is something that has been reported before. Um, Previously, something like that. Reportedly, go to the chat. You can find the word over there. I cannot really explain it to you. I'm just gonna give you the word in Spanish right there. That's reportedly. More questions, people? The word reside, the spectrum reside. Reside, people, what is reside? It's like leave, residir. Oh, yes. I, I, it's, it's, it's okay. What else?
Skimp. Skimp. Make short. Make something short. The word in Spanish is escatimar. That's the word in Spanish. But it means, it means make something short. Okay, thank you. Like acortar, escatimar. That's the word in Spanish. Yes, skim. Skim. What else? No more? Okay. I need a person to read. Who can read? Okay, Magdiel, go ahead. Thank you. For packaging, some sites are known for their excellence in packaging. Amazon, for example, has even been criticized, criticized for its over Loans and reportedly wasteful packaging using more bubbles wrap, bubble wrap in their boxes and packaging tape for its packaging than many of its competitors. On the other side of the spectrum reside their Tyler, who skimmed in this category, living a wake of frustrated shopper who open their online purchase to find broken and damaged items. Even those who have a good track record of making sure their shipments are secured can't escape the casualties casual that can be casualties, okay, that can be casual Caused, caused by a <clears throat> careless order fulfillment employee or the ST delivered drive driver. The only way to be absolutely certain that your purchase will get will get to you safe and sound is to pick pick it up from the store yourself. All right. Thank you, Magdiel, for reading. And uh, okay, those are the most common problems that we have when 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 doing online shopping. Uh, the first one was uh, inaccurate sizing. The second one is misleading product descriptions, uh, payment issues, and the last one is poor packaging. Yes. The bottom line or the conclusion is this one. Buying online can be a gamble. So it is always best to allow for a little wiggle room with your purchase. If, if you need a gift for an event coming up within a day or two or two after your order is scheduled to arrive, you may not have time to rectify issues and get a replacement in time. Still, shopping uh, via the web can be a money-saving endeavor. Endeavor, sorry, endeavor. Provide your patient wise and up for uh, the challenges. Don't get taken for a ride. Learn the pros and cons before the salesperson makes a pitch. There you go. All right. We got the first word, gamble. What is gamble? You know what gamble is? Some kind uh, of game. It is some kind of game, exactly. Yes, like buying online can be a game. You know, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. That's what it means, a gamble. So it is always best to allow for a little wiggle room. What's a wiggle room? Do you know what it is? Wiggle room.
No? A wiggle room is a place where you have many options. You can choose from different, uh, well, that's what it is, uh, wiggle room. You can use from, from different sources or from different places. It's like a space or a piece of this space where you can do many things. You can choose from whatever you want. That's what a wiggle, wiggle room is. Yes. What else? What is the word? Uh, let me see. I saw the word over here somewhere. Why is that? Oh, endeavor. What is endeavor? What is it? Endeavor. This word. What is it? Endeavor. What is it? Endeavor. No? Endeavor. No teacher. Uh, F word. That's the best word. F word. Esfuerzo. Yes, that's endeavor. That's what it is. All right. Very good. Let's continue because we have a couple of minutes over here and this one activity that we have to do. This one. This one, brainstorming, share any delivery experience you, you've got, good or bad. We're going to do this. We're going to have uh, two different categories, all right? One category is going to be for good experience. And the other category is going to be for a bad or bad experiences, okay? All of this, all these good experiences or bad experiences are going to be related to delivery, delivery. Yes, when you order things online, you're going to tell me good experiences about the delivery or bad experiences about the same thing. So any any delivery experience you've got, good or bad, yes. We're gonna have two lists of that, all right? Let's do that. Let me stop sharing over here. We're going to do it in couples, I think, not in groups because we're only 13, that means 12. I'm not included. Let me just do the groups. Let me form that up for right now. How do I do it? All right, let me go for it. All right, there we go. So create a list of good and bad experiences about delivery, all right? Go ahead, join the groups. People, people, please join the groups. The groups are there to join.
Marilyn, can you please join the group and everybody else? the uh, case that when I when I do the 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 purchase I didn't select it but the the seller because I was uh that was my first purchase with him okay. he well he he gave me that that cover case for the for the cell phone that it was a, a good experience. Yeah. So, okay. It will be the number one. That's a good experience. Yeah. Well, that that was a good. I am from the bad. Um, I I buy uh, a wallet but this wallet uh, never never arrived here to the country and this uh, well not the seller in that case the aliexpress they, they took around three months to to do to refund me the money really three months yeah Okay, that was a bad experience. Yeah, that's right. Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm just listening, okay? <laughs> In my okay. case, I almost never order nothing online. Just food sometimes, food. Um, as a good experience. Uh, the food came uh, one day and... In one day. Uh, um, no, no, no. That's no fue eso lo que quise decir. The food oh, okay. like, wow. Um, that that day, uh, faster than I was expecting. Oh, all right, all right. I understand. Well, now, 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 I, I, a I good experience. That's a good. I I had a bad experience about food because one night, uh, all my family decided to to buy uh, a pizza well you know yeah. there there were food in the in the kitchen but nobody want doesn't want to <laughs> cook that night so we <laughs> ordered a uh, pizza but the pizza never never arrived fortunately the payment will be will be uh, no could be no i forgot how to say Ooh. Uviera. Um. Well, that moment we're going to do the payment by uh, cash. Because if uh, if we did if we will did it in uh, as a transfer, well by credit by car, probably they we we took a lot of a, a lot of time to refund that money. But in that <laughs> in that night we didn't receive the pizza. So well, we had to keep, do the cooking in the, at home. After after all that, you have to cook. Yeah, but you know <laughs> when you said when you say I want to eat pizza or chicken, your your mind, your mind, it's a mindset. I mean, you already know that you want to eat pizza or chicken, but you're ending eating <laughs> beans and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference, right? Yeah. There's a big Vincent difference. Eggson, French, uh, French bread. <laughs> With cream. Bread, bread. 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 French, French bread. bread. No, bread. it's not no. French bread. It's just bread. <laughs> oh, I think so. Yes. That was a bad thing. Another Pan dulce. Thing. Oh, okay. Well... <laughs> That is, no. It's funny for me, but I think it is not for you. 
Yes, and at the end, at the end of the story, I have to to give that to my cousins, and I don't know what happened at the end, <laughs> but I I I waste my money in in this yeah in this class wasted wasted yes exactly uh see. Very sad. And how long uh, ago was? It uh, was. It was the last December. Oh. Yes, the the, the last year. <laughs> okay, but I hope this December, <laughs> uh, don't pass the same. <laughs> no, no. I don't believe that. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Well, in my case, um, our story is about when I was in the in the work with my colleagues. Um, we we kept the uh, promo. I don't know how to say promo in in English. Ah. Promotion. Promotion. Ah, promotion. No, no, Pro promotion the of a product. It can promotion. Be Oh okay. Offer, but there is a another word. It's bargain. Bargain. Bar bargain is more colloquial. It's more more colloquial. It's like ganga. Bargain. Oh, can you spell the last word, please? It's in the chat. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, it's, okay. it's the same like like oferta, but in these cases, it's not like really a promotion. It's more like like uh. Una ganga. Ofertón. But you can say of, también uh, promoción o oferta, yes. Okay, well, uh, my colleagues and I, uh, what's uh, the uh, offer about the Starbucks? <laughs> they have a uh, two, dos por uno. <laughs> Sorry. How do you say oh. dos por uno? Two for one. Two for one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we we what uh, that that offer? Uh, well, we we had the delivery, but when, when the product uh, finally well uh, llegaron hacia nosotros, get to us. Yes. Yes. It got to us. Yes. It come. Come to us. Okay. No, get, get to us. Uh, when the product comes to us, uh, <laughs> they only have a one product, not the offer description. But well, we were six uh, girls, six uh, people in the team. Uh, only three have a, a the product. <laughs> What's that? It was because you know you have the, your colleagues. Uh, Everybody wants to to take some, but uh, we only have three products in the six. That is my experience, and recently experience. It happens. It happens. Yeah, but you know, I we we have the delivery through pedidos ya, and they. Just... I get it. Yes, uh, sorry. yes. Uh, sorry, teacher. I don't uh, know exactly what are gonna do. Oh, we're gonna create a list. Create a list, a list? of okay. uh, of good and uh, bad experiences that we have had about delivery. Oh. Oh. About delivery. Well. And after that, we have to we have to explain the the list. Share them, yes. Share the list. Okay. Share the list. Perfect. Oh well. Uh, about 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 the bad bad experience when I received a deliver probably is when when I followed the route, and and the deliver is in another place. 
and call me. Hey, I'm here to 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 give your 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 product. And no, bro, it's not my house. But you said in San Antonio, Barra, yes. But you you are not here. So and ah, okay, perfect. I'm going to call later. And some and suddenly the another agent called me. And Mauricio, you you will receive your product tomorrow, okay? And, oh fuck! Probably the issue it was the communication from from my deliver and the agent that 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 sold me the product that sold me the product. Okay, in my case, uh, I I had uh, issues with uh, with a delivery because <clears throat> I ordered a product and the place of the of the I was uh, ordering is closed, but the time of the of get that my product was a long time and I don't know what but when the delivery delivery is called me I buy I buy it and they send it as as normally doesn't okay. have another one so I in just the, have the, the list, only one well, in my list, I have three good things, and the bad things, I have two, only two. I just have one. Oh, okay, you, you don't even have one. And, and it is a good experience. Only good experiences, bad experiences. Oh, I remember another one. When the, the pandemic moment, the when the pandemic was very uh, well bad, well, in a pandemic, that's bad. Um, yes. Bidri uh, create that you buy things from the their online, but you have to go to pick up your your purchase. But that's right. That, I, re I remember that. What is that? Speak. Uh, okay. Speak. Let, let, speak. When the pandemic was at its peak, like maximum level, exactly, exactly. Yes. Pandemic was at its peak. Okay. Its peak. So in that moment, I went to Bidri to pick up the the things that we have to buy for my my work, but there was a lot of people. Um. Uh, waiting for enter to the to the parking lot of Bidri and pick up all the the things that they are buying. You know, I spent in that moment like uh, an hour and a half. And well, you know that with that risk that nobody doesn't know how to get uh uh get that virus that virus is risky and dangerous yeah that it's risky because you don't so know nobody how to get could be uh infected with that yeah that was a risk yeah but that that's that's a bad thing with the message mm -hmm. but, but in this moment i couldn't understand him yeah i only i only remember that that sent him uh as for pizza hut i only sent that and <laughs> he was um disappointed because uh, the the delivery 
never ca uh, came. You can you never received the pizza. Of course, he ne he never oh, wow. he never, and he, he was waiting. And oh, I only God. I only sent him a you asked for for a pizza in in a pizza hut at pizza hut I only sent that and he was angry with me because I was joking with him because I I won't a long waiting for for hour for a yeah, pizza maybe a half hour mm -hmm. the promotion is about 30 minutes but well uh, didn't you call the pizza and i don't know if him if he made that oh yeah <laughs> but he was waiting or he didn't take the call because before they the delivery came they call call us uh, a driver and suddenly i have two two cars in front of my, to my business and, and both told me Hey Mauricio, you go to the San Antonio Val? Yes. Hey Mauricio, you go to the San Antonio Val? Okay. Yes. Two cars but, for you. <laughs> two cars for me. But that was not the problem. The problem is after the after the 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 the, the, the travel, um, I. Go And, 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 and I request another option. So I mentioned the issue to the for for email, and I mentioned it. So I request just one card, but it, the Uber uh, sent me two. And what happened? That is not my problem. For that reason, I don't know why you blocked me. And and and, and after that, the Uber sell, sent me an an credit to pay them the amount that I received on my account. And after one week, I I I I, I had the option to the option to use the the app. But I I, I spent one week without the service. And I, I, I'm talking about two no three or four years ago I didn't have a, my own car. So I use a lot uh, because for the pandemic, for example, I considered everyone wanna use use Uber to 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 avoid the 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 the, the bus, for example, or coasters, something like that, or go to the supermarkets because uh, we have just one day to, to buy the, the groceries. And the other uh, driver don't, does, uh, was was angry. Or no? Uh, no, just told me, I remember that the other driver just told me, Okay, no problem. I'm going to get another, another, another customer, but he charged me. Sorry. So he put a ticket, like uh, I, I got the, the 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 driver as well. So I received two charges for five dollar per 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 car, uh, and. I paid the one 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 service with money and the other share I received in my account, my Uber account, and and, yeah. you, and Uber uh, uh, locked me for for a week. 
because I didn't pay that amount. Okay. Yes, but uh, and nowadays I don't need that. My my issues was with uh, pedito ya. Pedito ya. Yeah. Uh, pedito ya is here or no? Hugo, go out, right? Uh, before was Hugo. Ah, okay. Uh, but uh, yes, but but Hugo go out uh, around two or three months ago, right? Yes. Maybe half a, half a year. And I didn't get sick. Well, Even the 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 doctor uh, told me several several times. Uh, that I had to use that, to use the the mask, but I I had to 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 wash the the clothes in that moment. I had to I had to to cook. I had to go out and and buy the medicines. I had to coordinate. Uh, coordinate. The coordinate the 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 compra de oxígeno oxygen 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 purchases oxygen every day I was the yo el encargado de hacer eso you were in charge to buy all the I was in charge to buy everything to buy everything why you were lucky because you're you're immune uh, for me, I get sick in 2021, but it was very weird because I didn't have any any uh, symptoms from that from that virus. I mean, only one one day I only have a a, a headache, but that kind of stupid headaches that it, it yeah. did, like it did like they're walking in your in your head on some points only for four hours and then nothing 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 so probably probably i was uh you're immune too no but i think i was uh falso positivo oh, False positive. False, false, positive. false positive. Oh, a false positive, but I will never know if that was true or false. I mean, okay. Yeah. Well, the pandemic. Uh, get. Well, I lost a uh, an uncle, uh, the brother from my father, but he was living in the U.S. And you know, in the U.S. U say people the Americans doesn't believe in that practically the, the, the Americans they didn't uh, protect themselves only the Latinos were more uh, worried about it but uh, fortunately my my, own, my uncle dies for that because yeah. he has to always go out to her to work thank you but well you know i that's... lost three people in your family my, my father my mother and my suegra no sé cómo se dice stepmother suegra my mother-in-law my ah, mother-in-law mother she, she was the first to, uh, in the uh, to die she died in uh 2019 i think mm -hmm. the first yes but the second one was my my mother she died in uh, 20, 20 2021 21 and my father uh, last christmas last exactly christmas. the last christmas oh sorry sorry to hear that yes 
Thank you. Okay, tenemos que volver. Okay. Hi, we're back. And uh, over here, we have a couple of minutes to share our experiences, either good or bad. Let's begin with uh, Magdiel. Magdiel, who were you with? Magdiel? Sorry, teacher. Who were you with? Sorry. Uh, Mauricio. All right. Share share your experience with Mauricio. And Mauricio told me that he had a, a bad experience with the uh, Uber Uber driver. He ordered uh one service, but he he gets two cars for for him at the same time. Wow. Two cars! Wow. <laughs> okay, continue. He had he had to choose one to one choose. service. Yeah, he had to choose one service because the the other. No. No, don't, yes. don't, don't use. Yes. In my case, I, I had a similar issues and the other app. Uh, I order one product, but suddenly the, the cell phone or the app hold, hold, um, was hold. And I try to order again, but when I go out to receive my product, yes, uh, outside there were two people, two deliverers with the same product for me. Not really. Yeah. And what do you do? Uh, okay. uh, like, did you take both? I have. I have to. Uh, I had to buy two two products, but there is no 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 expensive. All right. But always I I, I going to use. Okay, I understand now. This is better now. The connection is bad. Okay, what else? Yeah. And that that is all. Okay, that is all. All right. Very good, very good. Thank you for sharing. Let's see what Katya can say. Katya has to say and Eric. Okay, did sure. <laughs> we share some experience about, well, especially bad experience when we uh, have delivery of something. I don't know if Eric wants to share your story. A story or I tell that share share the experience okay Eric uh, told me two experience uh, one was about the size of the product uh, he he asked for a, a short with a, a specific uh, size but he received received a uh, other side. <laughs> uh, well, that was one, and another was uh, one of 
one friend of, of Eric uh, had ordered about a pizza and they waited about four hours to to get the, the, the pizza, but the pizza never <laughs> come to, well, came to, to them. And for me, I my last experience was about the truck, the pizza, yeah, when I was to 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 make a, a delivery, but in something like a mandaditos, and they put me a limit about the distance. It was about the San Salvador to La Libertad. I think it is an all a not long distance, but they put me the limit. That was our experience, bad experience. All right, all right. That's that's okay. Thank you for for sharing that. Let's see you with uh, the other couple. It was uh, Fabricio and Emerson. Guys, both of you, tell me, what, what is your experience? Okay, well, I was talking about a uh, good thing. When I do my first online buy, I order uh, a cell phone. But uh, because the, I think that was my first buy, the seller sent me a, a, a cell phone case. So I didn't expect that. Okay. What else? And and uh, a bad a bad thing about the buying always uh, buying and that that platform AliExpress. I order a, a wallet, but the wallet never arrived here to the country. So I I do the, the claim, but the application took three months to refund me the money. And I didn't receive the wallet. All right. What else? Mauricio. He's sleeping. <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I only have uh, one good experience uh, that I remember. Uh, it was about the delivery of the food uh, where I was ordered. One day, uh, in fact, in that uh, yes, in that day, the food came on time. Uh, really uh, sooner than expected for me and my family we we quedamos sorprendidos we were in shock we were in shock we were we were in shock we were in shock yes that's the only good experience i remember <clears throat> uh, bad experience i just had to remember a uh, uh, I order online uh, to, uh, um, to pick up the food at the restaurant. Yes. And when I get uh, there to the restaurant, the order uh, had not been had not even been processed, and so I had to wait uh, um, about. An hour because uh, there were there was no system. Yes. No, yes, sistema. Yes. It was not working. I mean, the system was not working. The system. Uh, oh, that's right. The system was not working at exactly. the time. The system, the system. The system was not working. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. I think we don't have more experiences to share. Thank you guys for doing that. Uh, we will continue with our uh, activities tomorrow. Time's up. If you have any questions about the platform, you can stay after or after I take attendance, which I will do in a couple of seconds.
Do you have any final questions? Uh, do you will share that presentation that we watched today? The presentation for the, that we started today. I can share it to you right now. Let me see. Yes, let me find the, the group. Let me just share it. I, let me know if you get it or when you get it. I'm about to share it. I just did it. Can you see it or do you get it? Got it. All right. Yes, that's the presentation the for that that we had today for today's presentation. Uh, and remember, you have to continue working on the platform on section number two. I told you yesterday that uh, we will continue working with section number two or unit number two until next week, Monday, all right? Until Monday next week. So that means that this week we're going to continue working with section two and the midterm exam. If you already finished the section number two and the midterm exam, perfect, good for you because you will have nothing to do. And uh, if you want to continue working with section three and section four, go for it. No problem. You can do that. It is not a problem, right? You can do it. Let me take attendance. Diego was not here today, right? No, we didn't get him. All right. Uh, Diego Jose Benitez Leiva, no. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Uh, yes, thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here, present. You are there. Julissa Amilet Villalta. Villalta was not here today. Carla Ivania Nayancheta was here. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo, thank you. Present. Thank you, Magdiel Esau Garcia Morales. Present. Marilyn Alejandra. Grande. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Yes. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Yes, thank you. And the other one did not show up. Okay. If you have if you have any questions about, about the platform, you can stay. If you don't have any questions, people see you tomorrow. Have a good night and take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Yes, good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you.
Hey guys, you have to continue with the practice. Remember that practice makes perfection. And uh, let me show you or give you a brief a brief review of uh, report speech for just no questions. Speech. With uh, just no questions. Remember, we have uh, been working with the uh, three structures. Those are simple present. The other one is simple past. And uh, the last one that we've worked with is will. Yes. And uh, we've studied that, uh, let me draw an arrow right here. Where's the arrow we got over here? Oh, it's not this one. Where is it though? Got it. All right. Okay, I've been telling you that, uh, can I get rid of this? Sorry about that. Okay. So I said report speech. With just no questions. Report speech with just no questions. And I told you and I mentioned that three tenses, right? Uh, the first one was simple present. The other one was simple past. And the last one was will. So basically over here, I've been telling you that we use, oh, okay. When somebody says something using simple present, we report that sentence using simple past. That is not entirely true because we can we can still we can still use simple present. I mean, if you want to report it, you can use simple present. But it's better to say, or it's more common to 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 use simple past. All right. And uh, the second structure is simple past. When you report a simple past statement, uh, negative either negative or affirmative, or even questions. This one now uh, turns a little difficult or tends to be more, more difficult than the other ones because we use uh, another structure and this structure is challenging and that one is past perfect. Yes. And uh, the last one is will. This one is the one that is the most. Well, this is the easiest one because it just changes to would. That's what we do right now. Let me give you an example with the first one. The first one goes like this. Let's say uh, someone says, someone says, well, actually someone, someone asks, someone asks, uh, do you need help? Very easy question, do you need help? Right now, we are about to report a sentence. The sentence, I mean, the question that we're going to report is this. Do you need help? And uh, we report it like this. Someone asked. You can use me if you want to. Or you can remove it. Someone asked if, and we use weather as well. We can use uh, both. We can use either, either if or where. So whether, sorry. So someone asked me if or whether I needed help. 
I needed help. Yes. As you can see, the simple present question, when you reported changes to simple past, the structure changes to simple past. So the verb need should go in the simple past when you report it, in this case, needed, right? As you can see right there. And notice that we're using, we're using if, and we're using whether to report it. Right after if and the word whether, we use a clause. The clause contains a subject, a verb, and complements. Now, the most difficult or challenging part of uh, report speech or what we have seen about report speech is the structure that we have over here. Simple past changing to past perfect. So let's have a question. Someone asks, someone asks, did we win the, did we win the lottery? As you can see, we're using the auxiliary D. That means the sentence, that means the, that means the question, not sentence, sorry. That means the question is in the past form. So we're going to share, I'm going to share the report a sentence like this. Someone asked, you can use what wanted to know as well. Wanted to know, someone wanted to know if or whether we had we had won the, the lottery. Someone wanted to know if or whether we had won the lottery. Yes, as you can as, as you can see, we're using past perfect to report simple past. This is the structure for past perfect. The auxiliary had, which goes with every subject and the past participle form of the verb win. Yes, and we continue talking or using uh, if and whether, all right? Yes, we keep using it. And the last one is a lot easier in comparison with the other ones or with the previous ones. We just change the auxiliary will or the model of verb will to the model of verb would. But let me give you an example in that way we learn how, uh, well, we learn how it goes. Will, she will she come to the party? Will she come to the party? And uh, we can say Mauricio, that's me, all right. Mauricio asked if she excuse me. You can use you can use if or whether, all right? Uh, she would come to the party. Mauricio asked if or whether she would come to the party. So that's how you report, that's how you report will. You change it to would. And that's how we use report speech with just no questions, all right? I know it is a challenge. We have only studied three structures. We, uh, we have to continue studying more structures. And uh, well, it becomes more complex and more challenging. It is not really difficult. It is, uh, I can say that it is just challenging and uh, more complex, all right? Guys, I wish you the best. Remember, keep practicing to be perfect. Practice makes perfection. If you don't practice, it will not get any perfect. So that means the practice is really, really necessary. All right. I wish you the best and I will see you next in the next session. Take care.